Hey everyone, it's Bree. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team. And I am going to be working with a new sequin mix. It's called Maze Days. And it happens to match the Molly collection from Felicity Jane so perfectly. So the collection came with chipboard frames. And if you are familiar with um, my work, you know I have a hard time using chipboard frames. So when I usually get them, I turn them into sequin shakers. So I thought uh, they would be perfect for the maze days sequin mix. So what I'm doing is I am going to trim down my Spiegel Mom scraps acetate to fit these little frames to create my window for my shaker. And I'm gonna move some of that paper so it's not so busy on the background and you can really see what I'm doing. So I took some of the tearaway tape um, found in the Spiegel Mom scraps shop. I'm not sure which size it is. It might be a quarter inch or it might be smaller. I'm not really sure, it's just very skinny. And I adhered the acetate down and then I'm going in with some narrow foam strips from, or narrow foam strips from my stash to create a little area for my sequins to sit. And then I'm going to add some of my um, powder tool to make sure that I don't have a lot of static so my sequins can move freely. And then I'm gonna spoon my sequins in using my Nouveau Craft Spoon, which is one of my favorite tools. Um, and um, I just pour in the desired amount. Now, if you want them to shake more freely, you can double up your dimension or your like dimensional foam, or if you want them, usually when I make them, I call them shakers, but they're mainly just like a display of the sequins. I think they're so pretty when they're all together, uh, especially this mix. So that's why I really, really enjoy sequin shakers. So I backed that one with vellum, or actually I backed both of them with vellum. That's what I prefer to back my shakers with mainly because I do like for them to not have to compete with pattern paper. And then I do like, depending on the background that I use, I do like to that for it to kind of come through, through the shaker. Um, so now I'm just working on the rest of my layout since my two shakers are done. The, um, the photo that I'm using is of my dog Cubby. He's down at the bottom left and he's in our sheets. Um, he follows me everywhere and I'm making the bed or, you know, stripping it to clean the bedding. He's all up in it and I just had to document it and it kind of matches the sequin mix perfectly. So this sequin mix is not only like very fall inspired, but it's very neutral. And I feel like I need like 50 more packs of this specific sequin mix. It's so pretty. And they look really, really nice in the chipboard frames. So what I did was I just created a little cluster around my photo, not a little cluster, but like I framed my photo with the two shaker frames. And then I'm gonna go ahead and, and embellish right on top of the frames. So I've pulled out some of the ephemera from the Molly kit and then the grateful ephemera piece will just be my title. And then I'm just gonna build little things here and there and tuck and layer, which I, I love to do. And um, I like to embellish right on my shaker frames and I think it looks cute. So yeah, super simple. This layout came together so quickly. Um, I just got the Molly kit in and this is my second layout using it. And um, I just love it. So I'm trying to get through a lot of my stash. I have so much to use, not enough time. I think that's like a lot of issues or the same issue that a lot of us have. Um, I just need more time in the day, but I've had a lot of fun working with the sequin mix and creating shakers. If you know me, I love to create a shaker. I think it's just a fun way to display your sequins. And um, yeah, they're just mainly like little windows of pretty and on my pages and I love it. Uh, so now I'm just adhering everything down. I have everything laid out how I want it. I'm going to add some tangled thread. My glue, of course, was giving me issues. I needed to refill it. Um, these corduroy hearts, oh my gosh, I need like 80 more of these. They're so cute. And I'm just layering them on top of each other. I popped up my title on foam. Um, I did, I ruffled uh, the edges up of those two pattern papers. And I'm just getting everything down. And uh, yeah, and that's about it. But I hope you guys have been doing well. I have been super busy. Um, it's great to be back in my craft room. I did a lot of traveling. We are traveling one more time um, this month and we're going back home to see my family for Thanksgiving and I'm super excited. I have not been home for Thanksgiving, I think since 2009. Um, so we're at home is California. That's where all my family is from. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I think we might have one more trip in December and then we're, I'm not going anywhere for a while. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, it's great to be back in my craft room and getting back into the swing of things and back on schedule. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun with this layout. Use my code BRIANNA15 to save you 15% off in the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop. Here is the final photo with the shakers. The sequin mix is so pretty. Again, it's called Maze Days and it is lovely. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.